I am so excited to be here and thank you all for having me. We are going to have an exciting conversation about designing a frictionless future. What we are hoping to do here at Enterprise Holdings is remove the friction that our customers are experiencing when they rent cars from us at Enterprise. So I'll share a little bit about how we were able to do that with our D-Scout partner. This presentation is just going to be a high-level overview of how our experienced research team here at Enterprise Holdings has been able to leverage the D-Scout partnership and the platform to conduct customer research studies. I'm going to go over a quick overview and an approach on our methodology and how we went about sending our scouts out to airports to test out this new concept, as well as the outcomes from that study and what's on the horizon for us next. Here at Enterprise, we aim to reimagine the future for car rental, truck rental, and the car buying experiences. Our research studies hope to answer two key questions. First, what is the perception? How do customers and non-customers perceive the experience today? We also wanna know about the experience. How do customers experience our brand across the life cycle at these individual touch points and understanding where are we missing the mark and what are we doing well. So this particular study was interesting because we were focused on one key component, expediting the car rental service. We want to get customers into their vehicles and out on the road as soon as possible. And so we wanted to test out this new prototype of a program where customers could use our digital app, Enterprise app, to be invited and enroll into this program that would allow them to do all that upfront paperwork, deposits, understanding what any fees are associated with, um, opting into any insurance options. We wanted to handle that on the app ahead of time so that when customers arrive to the branch, they're able to select their vehicles and get on the road sooner. We wanted to be sure that this was a holistic outside in view of this experience that is rooted in personalization, empathy, control in a frictionless environment. One thing I wanted to be sure that we mentioned here is that a couple of these, if you look at the journey here as we have it outlined in this circle, the invite and enroll and check-in portions were a, were a digital experience that was happening on our app. And then of course, when a customer is arriving to the branch at the airport, they're able to select their vehicle and get on into the exit booth and then have the seamless experience returning that vehicle in hopes that they are then a pleased customer. Some key learnings from this particular study is that we wanted to determine whether or not customers experience friction during the car rental process and what would cause them to abandon the effort. What would give them, what are some newly identified pain points? What are some pain points we aren't quite solving for? What are some elements that we're wowing our customers? We wanted to be sure we understood that in this new expedited program. We also wanted to assess whether or not there were variations that existed between the digital and physical experience that would prevent customers from completing the car rental process. And so this was really, really key for us in having scouts who were able to engage with the enterprise app from a digital perspective, and we were able to document what those experiences were, and then having them move to an actual airport where they're renting an actual car, and also engaging with the digital app along the way at different micro stages, and understanding where there were variations in those two experiences. We also wanted to determine whether customers have a perceived and actual uh, perceived outcome versus their actual outcome, and whether that exceeded their expectations about this new concept. We really wanted to understand, are we delivering on the value proposition? As I mentioned, we wanted to get customers on the road faster. We wanted to be sure that they're able to do everything up front. So when they arrive to the branch, there's no paperwork needed. They can just simply check in, select their vehicle and be on their way. Does this new experience deliver on that promise of an expedited check-in and check-out? 
So what we did, um, we were able to partner with D Scout. I mean, this was really, really great. And probably after this slide, you'll think I uh, work for D Scout, but I promise you I work for Enterprise. We're just really excited about the partnership with this amazing platform because it really revolutionized the way we were able to think about the car rental experience. Because we employed scouts to rent real cars at six airport locations across the country and have them use the diary method to document their experience. If you think about the scalability of research and your small but mighty team of research and designers, how long could you imagine it would take you to launch a pilot and be able to test that pilot across six airports from the West Coast to the East Coast and be able to do so in a way that was a true reflection of what the customer experience would actually be like. We couldn't think of a way better to do that other than using D Scout and sending scouts to do it. And so we were able to select from a diverse pool of participants who live, work, and play near these six airport locations. And they were able to download the Enterprise app, opt into this new program, and go rent a car and tell us in real time what that experience was like. So, Customer-centered evaluative research, we wanted to assess the usability and the perceptions of this new expedited rental program. So our methodology was that we used the diary method in which we recruited customers. They recorded their experience using the conceptual app at each micro stage of the car rental journey. This was really, really important because we wanted to ensure that not only were we understanding the digital and the physical as they were happen happening separately, but once customers got to the physical branch, what were their expectations for what the app would do for them? What, how did they expect to engage with that new um, digital app once they got into the vehicle? And it was really cool to see scouts sitting in their car, having just gone through one of the micro stages and being able to tell us um, what that experience was like as they just had it. The second bullet point is participants received a $350 incentive to participate. The reason why we wanted to be sure that we pointed that out, um, it sounds like a huge number to have an incentive for a research study, but we were asking scouts to do quite a bit. I mean, we were asking them to not only rent a car, which we wanted to be sure we covered the cost for, but also put a deposit down on a rental car and use their own personal credit cards. They had to be uh, okay with you know, signing the insurance waivers and things, all the paperwork that would be included in a real rental car experience. I also want to point out that this was kind of like a secret shopper. Not many of our branch teams knew that this was happening. And so what customers, what these scouts were experiencing was as true as you can get to a real experience that a customer would have using this new program. We also had survey type questions that we asked at each check, um, at each touch point to be sure we understood the perception that customers were having at each of these micro stages in the journey. And one really cool thing we were able to do was ask follow-up questions based on their responses. Now, this is kind of unusual for an unmoderated study. You anticipate just creating the study and launching it and then getting the feedback and doing the analysis later. And the reason why you most people like moderated studies is because you can probe and ask why and get to that deeper meaning of why customers were making some of the decisions that they're making. Well, the D Scout platform allowed us to do that. We were able to run the unmoderated study, have scouts go through it from end to end, but we were also able to have communication with them. Once they submitted their entries, we can say, hey, we saw you answer it this way. Could you tell me more about what happened in this moment and what you were feeling and what you expected to happen? That gave us much deeper 
and richer insights than we probably would have gotten if we had just ran the unmoderated studies. So if you've been using DScout and you've been running studies, I encourage you to, um, as best you can, stay in communication with your scouts and um, continue to leverage that as an opportunity to maybe probe a little bit deeper. Over the course of three weeks, we collected 400 plus data points. Can you imagine how long it would take my team and our design team to go across six airports at, at, at across the country from coast to coast and find out in a true way what, what this experience could be and what it was in this new expedited program we were launching. Um, I don't know that we would have been able to do that in three weeks, but luckily we've been able to partner with DScout and we were able to do that. So one of the outcomes from this particular study that we were able to show our stakeholders is this journey map that you see. Again, we were checking on the micro stages within the car rental process. And so we identified five micro stages within this journey. Enroll, check in, arrive, and exit booth and return. So, this was really, really critical for us because not only were we able to outline this from the digital experience that was happening, but then enroll and check in, but also the physical from arrive, exit booth, and return, we were also able to identify key friction points within each of those micro stages and understand how easy or how difficult it was for a scout to move through them. So, we saw key friction points where you know, scouts were saying, I tried to scan my driver's license and it wasn't working. But we also saw some peaks where customers were saying that this was nice. It was easy. It was quick. And so we were able to communicate that to our stakeholders. What this allowed us to do was not only just look at the entirety of the journey, but really start to prioritize what are some key focus areas we need to be iterating on in the next phase of our design. And so that was super critical for us, as well as being able to compare this, these journeys and these friction points across different airports. Not only are we looking at the program in its entirety, but we're also looking at, hey, San Diego seems to be having these friction points, or they're doing this really well. And then Orlando is having some different friction points or some different points of wowing the customer. And being able to overlay that and really compare and contrast so we can not only prioritize across the program things that we needed to, uh, to fix in the next iteration, but also understanding the nuances that may exist in different airports. It could be as simple, simple as things that are out of our control, such as the way the lot is laid out at the airport. Or it was very difficult for me to navigate from the gate to the, to the counter and customers being able to communicate what that felt like for them. And so again, these may be things that are outside of our control, but certainly understanding where these friction points may exist in the journey helps us get ahead of that and helps us really think through and be intentional about the next iteration of our design. I am having a time with this connection. Okay, so um, again, you know, I, I, I just love D-Scout and it was really, really a game changer uh, and a game changing methodology for our, custom, for our company. We were able to understand what those explicit needs were and what the processes were that customers were going through. Our data inputs gathered helped us to inform whether or not this intervention removed friction. Did it work? Did it do what it said it was going to do? And the diary method helped us narrow down on what worked and what didn't work well within those digital and physical experiences and, off, and also help us understand whether or not that value proposition pulled through. Did we satisfy the need of expediting the experience? Did customers think that they, it was worth it? And our scouts helped us to, do, to determine that. We were able to ask them questions about, would you do this again? Would you recommend it to a friend? Um, you know, how could we make this better for you? 
was it worth doing all the things ahead of time on the digital app and, and did it really save you time once you got to the branch? And so we were able to figure that out through our scout study. Another thing that's super critical and important is that we were able to leverage video to develop a compelling story around the customer experience. So that was, I mean, if you think about it from helping stakeholders who are not researchers and designers really have that message resonate with them. So, you know, we have a lot of folks, at least in our rooms, who are thinking about the operational, I'm sorry, I'm getting some feedback. I'm sorry, I'm getting a conversation that I'm hearing. Okay, I think that fixed it. Sorry about that, everyone. So we were able to develop that compelling story for our stakeholders. You know, by putting together a video montage that aligned with our research insights, it really told the story of real folks going through this experience so that our stakeholders are not just thinking about the operational impacts, but really that customer experience. I mean, if you see a scout, sitting in a car talking about the wonderful experience they just had selecting their vehicle and getting out on the road or a pain point or a, a point of friction that they had. Uh, we want to be sure that that message really comes through directly from the scout's mouth. And one of the things that I really loved about this is that scouts loved this opportunity. Be they said things like they felt elite being a part of true innovation by participating in this research study, by being able to get paid to rent a car and just tell us about it was truly a, a great experience for them. And so that was important for us. We wanted to be sure that scouts wanted to engage in our studies in the future. And, and, and we gave them that opportunity to raise their hand and do so. So we were excited about that. To over 2,000 customers have been invited to engage in this new expedited rental experience since we launched our initial study in June of this year, which is amazing. And so we're really excited about continuing on our testing and learning process, as well as making sure that our stakeholders are in alignment with us along the way. So one thing I really wanted to be sure we hit home was that DScout helped us scale. I mean, I've said it a couple of times here, our team, you know, there's about, let's call it 10 of us on the research side and much, much more on the design side. But I mean, the scouts were able to do something that we, we wouldn't have been able to do ourselves, which is really scale a new test and learn process within a huge organization. Enterprise is not only based here in the United States, but we're all over the world. And so having something that allows us to do coast to coast research in a matter of three weeks was really, really awesome. A key component of this was being able to develop more customer empathy using video to gain empathy and context around how these operational decisions are impacting the customer experience. We were also able to unlock the value of data using this mixed method approach. We really delivered insights on competing research objectives and running these studies concurrently to expedite the delivery of those insights. I mean, I, I couldn't imagine being having to go from San Diego airport and flying over to Orlando and conducting the same study and getting the feedback that we needed to get within those three weeks. But we were able to do that and run these concurrent studies and get all, the, all of those re really rich insights um, in a short period of time. We also were able to establish trust amongst our stakeholders and really start to stand up this research discipline as a value add to business decision making, especially in large cross-functional teams. Not everybody is going to be a trained researcher, but certainly folks can get on board when they hear customers, and in this case, scouts communicate exactly what needs to be changed and what and work 
what worked really well for them. Also, and probably most importantly, it humanized our processes. So not only were we able to think about the operational components, but we were able to bring some customer centricity to those processes and really help people think about it, not only just um, as from research, just checking the box as a nice to have, but a need to have as we think about all of the operational impacts that, um, that exist within customer experiences. All right, so what's next on the horizon for us here at Enterprise? Well, we're gonna continue to use G Scout as a platform to obtain those customer insights and really help to shape some signature experiences that can be tested, iterated, and refined as we go in market. Like I mentioned, this particular program has been in pilot and it's been really successful so far. So we're excited to continue to get feedback from our customers um, regarding their expedited experiences. We also saw an opportunity to review some screener data and discern that there's going to be opportunities for new customer learning. I don't know if anyone else has ever thought about this, but your screeners, even if you decide not to select a scout, you're jam packed with a bunch of stuff in there, a bunch of insights or just notes that you could be taking. And we really look at that thematically. We were able to see that a lot of folks, in, even in their screener questions, started talking about loyalty, what it means to be an Enterprise Plus member or their favorite loyalty program. And so we were able to identify a new opportunity for research just by looking at those screener questions and how folks were answering them. In addition to that, on the horizon for us, we're going to continue to use our express study option within DScout. We really want to help democratize research and encourage iterative research to be done within our product and design teams. And we're going to help them by making it really, really um, sort of low entry on how they're able to do that with the express study option. So that's all that I have for you today. Again, it was such a pleasure. I apologize in advance for some of the technical difficulties we experienced, but it's been a, an, a great opportunity speaking with you and people nerds alike. And I can't wait to see what the rest of the conference looks like. Have a great day.